What is up guys, Anthony Booty Tran here and back again with another episode with Seller Tradecraft. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to win a buy box back, right? And in this situation, we're talking about when your buy box is captured by, when it's just you on the listing subclass, or when there's one other competitor on the listing, and then you have that weird thing that says, see buying options only. But right before I get into that, I just wanna let you guys know that I just got back from Cancun, and this is my million dollar seller hat. If any of you guys are watching this video and you guys do over a million dollars in sales a year, definitely join the MBS group. Shout out to my boy Ian Sellers for hosting that, having that group, and then hosting an event in Cancun with Eugene, my other homie. But basically, I was in Cancun with 75 plus other Amazon sellers that do over a million dollars a year. <laughs> Okay, like this was an exclusive private mastermind uh, only for like the cool kids only and it was just like crazy to be surrounded by Amazon sellers that just love it and crush it at what they're doing, right? I felt like, you know, I was just like a little mini sized fish in this big pond of like other Amazon sellers, right? Some guys were doing 30 million, some guys were doing 10 million, some guys, you know, were just doing 2, 1 million, right? And I'm just happy to be a part of the million dollar club. but. One thing I want to let you guys know is like you guys got to surround yourself with the people who are at your level or higher and that is how you're going to grow, right? Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. That's one of the reasons for my success and I highly, highly encourage you guys to find and seek those people out. If you guys haven't already, join the Seller Tradecraft Facebook group, right? Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, okay? And you know, like always, if you have questions about anything, just leave them in the comments below and eventually we'll get to them eventually. I'll make a video about it just for you, okay? But in this video, we're gonna go over how to get the buy box back if you guys lost it, right? In the situations where it's definitely like your own listing. So there's situations where you have the, uh, you don't have the buy box and you have that weird option that says see buying options only. And when it says see buying options only, what that means is basically Amazon is doing, it realizes the current price is like kind of out of whack compared to what it normally is. Okay, so they're gonna, what you have to do is get a price ban review. So normally if you sell your product and it's $25, but all of a sudden it's, you set it to 50, then that's usually when those things will pop up, right? Or sometimes it's when another competitor sets their price to 50 and we're at 25, then they might see, you might have the option of see buying options or something. So Amazon sees it on a historical price. So this usually pops up when you're launching a new product because when you launch a new product and you just say, your target price is 25, but you sell it for 15 and all of a sudden you jack it up to 25 after you launch it, then that occurs sometimes and you don't have to buy box, right? The other situation where it occurs is uh, when most people run into it is when you're running out of stock and you start increasing your price, right? You start increasing it from 25 to like 35 so you can slow down the sales velocity. Nothing wrong with that, but that's when the buy box option like can happen, right? And you might lose it. So in that situation, there are two things that you can do to safeguard yourself and fix that. So the first thing you want to do is contact Amazon, right? Contact seller support send them a ticket that says, hey, for this ASIN, I am the only seller on this product, right? So generally, if it's just you, or private label product, I'm the only, uh, hey, Amazon, I am the only person selling this product. This is my ASIN, la, 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 title of the product, and then name the SKU of the product. Just give them all the information that they need, make their jobs easier, and then tell them I want a price band review. So B-A-N-D, price band review. And usually with the price band reviews, they look at the price ranges that your item has been selling for and they'll tell you uh, and then Amazon will be like oh okay like uh, they'll they'll like raise like kind of like the limit of the price band to where like that seed buying options won't ever occur again for you right so within 24 hours to 48 hours you'll generally get that resolved in the situations where that does not get resolved what you want to do okay is basically manipulate your price you play with the pricing so say your price has always been around 25 and you want it to be around 35, right? Right. So you have to slowly start creeping your price back down, right? Creep it back down and buy a dollar, buy five dollars, buy three dollars, right? Until you get the buy box back, give it 24 hours and then slowly start creeping it back up. And then you're gonna win a buy box back. It's as simple as that. So first, contact Amazon. If that doesn't work, play for pricing, creep it down and then creep it back up. 
But other than that, I hope this helps you guys. And if anything, like I said, if you guys are in a million dollar group or, or you're gonna hit a million dollars in sales, I highly, highly recommend you check out the MBS Facebook group, uh, join that. It's a great group of people, very high level conversations, but also join the Solar Trade Craft Facebook group too. Also group, very great conversations too, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the Solar Trade Craft channel. All right, I'll see you guys.